My name is Lufunu Mbezi, I'm 18 years old, and under my surface, I'm a charismatic young lady and very ambitious to change um, how things are set up by society. Uh, my childhood was very tough, but it colorful at the same time because my family tried to make sure that I don't see my difference. Um, but when I went out of my family frame, it just it, it was just a total different story. Although people were like, oh, Samsanda, but you could see with the eye was just, no. It wasn't nice, so the treatment was very hostile. Um, yeah, my childhood was very okay. I don't like being called an albino because an albino is an umbrella term of the condition, right? And it could refer to an animal that lacks pigmentation or, yeah, a, a plant. So I was like, I don't like being called an, an albino. So I'm rather, I'll rather give them an alternative um, term or phrase to, to refer to us. Um, sorry. Okay. Um, give them another term they could use which is a vanilla book. And with our African languages as well, that limit, um, they, they're very hostile to us, you know? You know when a black person, when a white person says a K-word to a black person, you feel, you feel, right? And then when a black person calls us or me in Kao, that's the same feeling I, this, oh. So the same feeling a black person, okay, I am black, but a person who's rich and willing and goes through um, when they're called the K-word is the same way I feel when I'm called Inkao or Illeswafi because those words dehumanize me, you know what I mean? So I was like, okay, to lighten up the situation, you guys can call us vanilla boys, you know, have mutual ground. And one thing I, I, I want to say is that people that are rich and willing and are very hypocritical because you guys, our African languages dehumanize dehumanize us but you go all out when a white person calls you the k-word but your own languages dehumanize us and i just want to change that you know and yeah you know. i've programmed myself never to take offense but instead to educate so in in the space of taking offense i just my brain just switches to educate so instead, um, when a person calls me on albino, I was like, no, bro, call me a vanilla bone, and then explain to them why they can't call me an albino. So I feel like I always have to explain myself. And I feel, I'm, it's not a bad thing, because I feel like I need to, so you guys can change your mindsets and just the way you refer to us and stuff, so yeah. Usually in like Koskolong, we have LO classes and you need to go out and do some group work, right? So you, this happened throughout my schooling career, cre no, not crash, um, primary and high school, where when we had to go out and group ourselves, I'd be left alone. Like it would just happen, everyone just, just group themselves. And then Kyo Funi is just alone. And when I try to go to another group, they're like, ah, some fun, legit straight up to my face. And it wasn't because I wasn't competent, but they weren't comfortable with me being around their space. and. I had to live with that, unfortunately. You know, with me, I, I don't know, I feel like it's a coping mechanism, but I forget. I just choose to forget about it. And now I've been through a lot, but now when I try to release a ginta folder of those memories, I can't because I've chosen to forget because I didn't want it to affect me. Although some, it's a very bad uh, way of coping, but for me it works, you know, because I choose to forget it. Um, yeah, and one thing I also do is pray because I, yeah, I meditate as well, I pray and I found comfort in that. How I would encourage a young girl or a younger me or people that are facing um, challenges is that choose to be happy, you know, although in the midst of um, challenges, just try and change your perspective because one thing I did, you know, one thing that I did was, I chose to see the good. You know, when people stared at me, I was like, oh, okay, okay, celebrity. But when people used to stare at me with, um, they used to stare at me with the hostile way, Jay. And then I said, oh, okay, celebrity. I, I just switched to a better way of seeing what was happening around me. 
and that helped me and pushed me through challenges so just a change in perspective will actually help you i know it sounds cliche but it actually does help you and yeah just choose to be happy man there's so much comfort in being happy than drowning in your sorrows let your goals comfort you let where you want to be actually comfort you say hey man yeah you need to go through that to toughen you up you know i have a thick skin now because of what i've been through and i feel like going into the media industry i actually needed to go through that and get and gain a thick skin you know and yeah just be you and just be happy choose to be happy yeah i am lufuno bezi i am 18 and i'm beautiful hello <laughs>